I T plus I T equal infinity, 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 infinity. Casting is the process whereby metal that is melted at a high temperature is poured into a mold to produce various products. While the wooden pattern process is a typical method for casting, Kimura Foundry is using the full mold casting process. With the wooden pattern process, a pattern made out of wood is buried in sand. After the sand is hardened, the wooden pattern is removed, after which sand cores are set. Then, molten metal is poured into the cavity for casting. Although this casting process is suited for mass production, it is not suitable for casting complex shapes. Furthermore, fins almost always occur on the mating faces. With the full mold casting process, a pattern is first made out of polystyrene foam. Compared with the wooden pattern process, Patterns can be produced much more quickly. Moreover, there are numerous other advantages. For example, it is easier to change the design, neither drafts or cores are needed, and there is no need to store wooden patterns. Here, the pattern is set on a flask, and the sand is molded. Sand cores are not required. Casting is performed by pouring molten metal and replacing the polystyrene pattern with the metal. This enables us to produce castings in more complex shapes that meet customer requirements in a short lead time. Kimura Foundry has been improving this full mold casting process in the almost 50 years since the company first adopted it in 1966. Let us look at Kimura's unique and innovative FMC process. Kimura endeavors to increase the speed of pattern making by preparing optimized NC data based on 3D data. A 3D NC machine is used to carve out polystyrene patterns. Previously, this had to be done by hand so pattern production for mass production was difficult. Now, thanks to the use of IT, it has become possible to produce patterns for mass production. MagmaSoft is utilized to determine the optimal casting design before casting. The assembled patterns are then treated with an anti-adhesive coating. The coating serves to release the casting from the sand mold after shaking out. Kimura has succeeded in significantly reducing the gas emitted from the patterned and burned residue by developing the anti-adhesive coating in-house, which enables castings to be manufactured for various fields, such as machine tools and energy. We possess flasks in a range of sizes which makes it possible to produce castings that weigh over 30 metric tons. We also have large electric furnaces that can melt 25 tons of iron in 70 minutes. Various materials, including gray cast iron and ductile cast iron, can be melted in those furnaces, and we also have electric furnaces for steel castings. We also employ various devices such as emission spectrum analyzers, and carbon and sulfur analyzers to manage material quality. Castings are stored in a cooling space until they have cooled sufficiently. And upon customer's request, by employing a proprietary technique which sprays water onto the flasks, we can reduce lead time. Once a casting has cooled, we extract it from the sand. We remove the runner and the last traces of sand in the fettling process. Furthermore, we have a large shot blaster that can blast castings up to 8 meters long. After fettling, we conduct non-destructive testing. 
We have established an inspection system enabling a high level of accuracy in various non-destructive testing. We are also able to machine castings, as all our domestic foundries have machining shops adjacent to them. According to customers' needs, we are able to cope with a variety of processes from rust prevention to finish painting. In this way, Kimura offers a turnkey supply from casting to machining and painting. By employing the casting technology we have developed and by utilizing IT, we have turned the FMC process into a technology that can cope with mass production and offer high precision and short lead times. Going forward, Kimura will continue with innovation in developing the potential of the FMC process. Kimura Foundry 